All right, y'all, we back, man. Water Guard TV, live and direct. You know, we got to give it to you. Today, we got the NYPD officer, okay? Her name is Grace Rosa Bays. All right, she's been arrested, charged in a federal conspiracy to distribute fentanyl and heroin and narcotics. So, I'm going to go over this, see what we can learn. We understand there's been a lot of people. The Fed's been sweeping up and grabbing a lot of people and just trying to shed a light on this so we can learn from this we can teach other people to learn from this now if you're new to the channel my name is rod the water god you know i go over everything health wealth and a better understanding of self a little bit of everything else um if you're a returning subscriber i love and appreciate you you know you guys help me get to where i'm at and if you're a new subscriber you guys help me get to that 2500 i'm at 24 almost at 2500 y'all can help me get to that that'll be great and i got in the description i definitely got something that could help you out with if you want to make money on youtube they got two buddy that helps you get the analytics and everything like that then i got the home remedies book it's gonna help you if anything happens all right so let's get into this uh the nypd office right it's crazy because <laughs> I, you know first let me tell you guys this there are federal informants that get paid when they get bus. Let me say that again. They're getting paid. So their job all day, like a nine to five, is to just try to find out who is selling the narcotics. So they could get a commission off of that bus. So now let's get into Miss Grace Rosa, right? Um, Grace Rosa, 37. And Cesar Martinez, 40, 40, he was 43. They were charged with conspiracy to distribute fentanyl and heroin and narcotics. Okay, the U.S. Attorney Office in Southern District, New York, announced the charges against them Friday. Grace Rosa Bays took an oath to protect and serve the people of New York City. As alleged, she flagrantly violated that oath by pushing poison, including fentanyl and heroin, which are driving the nation's deadly opioid crisis and have been responsible for thousands of tragic deaths in the city around the nation. Now, what's funny is in 2020, the NYPD began to investigate Bays following accusations of misconduct and she was placed on a modified duty. So in 2020, she was already under investigation. That should have made her feel like, you know what? Uh, maybe I need to sell another product. Maybe this ain't where I should be, you know. And if you look at her, she looks, you know, like, you know, she looked like a, a Instagram model. I mean, my gosh, you know, why, you know, now you're looking at 10 years. Your husband probably, I mean, your, your boyfriend probably looking at a little bit more. But um it says here from october 9th through october 18th bays and martinez allegedly had numerous conversations with a confidential source who was working with law enforcement about wholesale narcotics trafficking bays and martinez believed the source to be a drug trafficker during these discussions bays and martinez offered to sell the confidential source kilogram quantities of fentanyl heroin and cocaine according to the u.s attorney's office at one point Bayes allegedly told the source that the fentanyl was top quality and directed the source to meet her on October 16th to obtain a sample of the drugs for sale. On October 16th, Bayes met with the source in Yonkers near her and Martinez's apartment. Bayes allegedly handed the source <laughs> handed the source a plastic candy container and indicated the sample of fentanyl was inside. The sample was later tested and confirmed that contained fentanyl so man you know um yeah they're gonna definitely make an example out of her and uh anytime you think that you in law enforcement and you think that nobody they are people they don't care where you at they're trying to get commissions okay they're trying to get six figures a year busting people on selling drugs and eventually it's like you know I think the longer you've been in the game, you got a way of dealing with people who are more solid and stuck in the game. But a lot of the newbies and a lot of the people that are like, they getting in and they like halfway in, halfway out, you're gonna get caught up. 
because you got to market to people, to new customers. And those new customers are going to be federal informants. You got to get people that you know. And I mean, that still don't cut you out just because you, you know, been in the game a long time. But this is a game that you got to get out of. You got to get transitioning and selling a legal product so you can sell legally, you know? So you don't have nobody getting commissions off busting you. Because that's what's going to happen. Somebody's getting paid off of them getting arrested. So let me know what y'all think in the comment section, man. Is Does this put a stain on the NYPD? You know all police departments. You know, it don't take much. Nobody really want to be a police department. They got some kind of motive when they join the force, you know, something. So let me know what y'all think, man. I'll catch y'all in the next one.